Hi, I'd like to talk a little bit with, uh, with you about the Saturn meditation. So Saturn is a very important planet and in many ways it's the planet people will notice most. So there are much stronger influences than Saturn in general, like the Sun and the Moon. But people tend not to notice things which go right. So they have impulses, they receive the impulses, they are flexible or they're stubborn. So they have all these Mars and Venus and lunar and solar impulses. And sometimes things go right and they're very lucky and people support them. So they have these Jupiter impulses as well. But when it comes to Saturn, they really start paying attention because things are not flowing anymore, they're not going smoothly anymore, unexpected results uh, pop up and then ah, all hell breaks loose. <coughs> so many people don't really appreciate or like Saturn very much um, because they tend to react to it in a very negative way. like why is this not working or why am I always failing or why am I alone or why can't I ever get this or that or such or so. <coughs> uh, so many people tend to react with frustration, aggression, sadness, disappointment, anger uh, and they don't have a very healthy relationship with, uh, with the planet Saturn. But Saturn is in a way also an invitation to really use all our being, to use all our strength, to challenge ourselves. Because we are of course active, but when there is no resistance, there also we will not reach our boundaries, we will not push our boundaries, we will not become more than we are. We will just be comfortably numb, um, cared for from cradle to grave, you could say. And what would we have learned? Nothing. What would we have gained? Nothing. And it's actually Saturn which allows us to make gains in our spiritual life. It is Saturn which tells us where we can and cannot go, depending on our qualities, depending on our strength, and we only become aware of our qualities and strength when we have to fight, when we have to use them, when we have to struggle. And I know that in modern spirituality it is not the most popular thing to say. In modern sp spirituality people are all about love and compassion and harmony and friendship and goodness and togetherness and support. But unfortunately this is not all there is to it. It can be very pleasurable, but there is stagnation. If we are in such a paradise, if we are in such a perfect world, it doesn't mean it is wrong to strive for such a perfect world, because it is good to strive for higher vibrations. But not to focus only on the higher vibrations, but to focus especially on the things which are blocking us. Which are saying like you want to go here? No you can't. <laughs> or no there's something which you will trip over or which will block you or will pull you back down. And that's the influence of Saturn. Showing us what we can improve in ourselves, what we can improve in others, what we can improve in our environment. And also allowing us to deepen our knowledge or deepen our understanding because of course I can hit somebody or something, I can just flail my arm about and connect with something. But if I have to go into a boxing match, just flailing around with my arms, it's not enough. I'll have to master myself, I'll have to master my body, I'll have to master my motion, I'll have to master my timing, I'll have to master my consciousness, seeing when to duck, when to block, when to strike. <laughs> and I have to bring all these different parts, which I more or less know how to do, together. And I'll have to combine them. And this is the power of Saturn. That it forces us to combine all elements, 
the Sun, the Moon, Venus, Mars and Jupiter all together and only if we can bring all of them together can we overcome the challenges which Saturn creates for us. So enjoy your meditation and I hope it will bring you many new benefits which will enrich your spirit.